What is going on Neon Nation and welcome back to the Neon Arcade for your Cyberpunk 2077 news update. Today we'll be talking about a new image of Night City associated with the spin-off of a Cyberpunk product, a podcast featuring Mike Pondsmith and what he has to say about Cyberpunk Red, the future of 2077, Robin Williams, the Bozos, a new Chromebook and more. First let's jump into some images CD Projekt Red and Artal Sorian shared to celebrate the new year and the dark future of 2020. Time is caught up with the original Cyberpunk 2020 source material, and thus the countdown to the dark future has finished, and Artal Sorian has shared this picture on their socials. We don't have biomons or brain dances, but at least we have Cyberpunk 2077 coming out very soon. CD Projekt Red has also shared this image of the source material to usher in 2020, as well as this really cool image featuring what is likely V or a mercenary on the Yaiba Kuzunagi. This is a very Akira or Dread styled illustration shared by CD Projekt Red Japan. Moving on, we have news that Cyberpunk 2077 will get even more collectible figurines from Sideshow on top of the ones we discussed about in last episode coming from both McFarlane and Totaku. There's no teaser images of the actual figurines, but we do get something more interesting for those more focused on the video game, and that is the cityscape in the background. This is very likely official art as these are officially licensed collectibles, and there is the CD Projekt Red logo on the bottom right. I know there's been a lot of chatter over the size and scope of the map, and discussions of it being too small or not wide enough, but I absolutely love the verticality and everything we've seen from all the city images so far. I can't wait to ride the metro all the way around and explore all the floors of these mega buildings. This image really does have a very striking skyline. Next we have a fantastic podcast from Baby Beard Media featuring Mike Pondsmith. I'll go over some of the more standout details, but I do recommend you guys check out the link in the description and listen to the podcast in its entirety. When asked what typically starts a new cyberpunk version and how Red was initially conceptualized, Pondsmith mentions that at Artal Sorian, they treat the cyberpunk universe as an ongoing story. Comparing franchises, he mentions that the original Star Wars would be Cyberpunk 2013, Empire Strikes Back would be 2020, Red is a restart of the storyline in some ways, and that 2077 is more akin to Return of the Jedi. Pondsmith also mentions that the story typically serves the game systems of a tabletop RPG, but the systems created illuminate the story, what people are doing in specific time periods and how they're operating reflect into the systems. Regarding any supplemental books for Cyberpunk Red, he also reveals Black Chrome, a Chromebook that will feature in addition to all the cool technology and cyberware that's apparent in the OG Chromebooks, just how exactly to use the new environment of Night City and the Cyberpunk world post bombing and post Red. It's a time where oddly enough, food and shelter is expensive, yet technology is incredibly cheap. Couple fun facts for you guys, Mike Pondsmith is actually an amateur paleontologist and that he found out Robin Williams actually played the original cyberpunk and was a fan when he left some of his source material books on the set when he was filming Good Will Hunting. Cyberpunk Red will have new gangs and evolutions and Pondsmith mentions the Voodoo Boys of 2077 as having emigrated to Night City, ousting the former Voodoo Boys from 2020 for knocking off their culture. He also seems to make reference to bozos forming larger communities in red, something that may trickle into 2077. Finally, Mike mentions that in comparison to all other cyberpunk works from the genre, he thinks the version explored in his work and with CD Projekt Red is more fun versus depressing and is a cyberpunk that hasn't been done before. Thank you guys for tuning in to this brief update. Happy New Year! I hope the new year is great to all of you guys, and there's so much more coming so join Neon Nation by subscribing today and I will see you in the next video.